Now the UI is very similar to the way it's been before. I'll see the things that are different and I see things that are identical. In my case, if I pick this first one, you'll see that I've got a number of items here that I've changed in the development database on the left that are in green and the production database on the right in red. Now the green and red are one of those changes that help call things out, but sometimes if I've got a lot of code like I do here, a lot of indexes and foreign keys, it's hard to tell what changed. If I come over here and I click this summary view icon, I can switch over to something that's a little bit easier to understand at a high level what I'm actually doing in these scripts. So on the left, I've got development, on the right, production, just like in the top. You can see I've got a new column, I've got an index change. Uh, and then on the red side, over here, you see I've got a couple indexes in production. And this is an example of what Drift is, right? Somebody has updated production to meet some of their needs, they've added indexes here. They're not in development, so I can see there's a difference there. And of course, I don't want to drop those indexes in production. What I probably want to do is put them into development and then run this comparison again so things look smooth. I've got a foreign key here, so all the changes I've made, and then I've changed a column from uh, not null to, or null to not null, right? It, it's null in production and it's not null in development. So I want to know that that's potentially an issue, that something's going to change here, and maybe I need to do some data movement along the way. So that summary view is really handy for trying to understand what's going on. One of the other things we've done though is we've tried to normalize things. Now when I go and look at the code for this table, you'll see that I've got this event name here as a second column and a number of other items, an event name here as a second column. But in the actual definition for those tables, what we'll see here is that in development, event name is that second column. But at some point in production, when it was created, that event name is actually the fifth column over here. And when you show those as differences, somebody easily can get confused or it's cumbersome to look through there and see in a large table, I've got these columns in different orders. And developers, uh, you know, they'll see that as a change and they start to wonder, is, you know, am I really making a substantial change? Do I need to reorder the table, rebuild it, that kind of thing? Well, in Compare, what we've done is we've tried to normalize the order of these columns so that uh, those don't show up as differences because they're not material differences. The order of columns doesn't matter. It shouldn't matter to any developer or anybody writing a report. So uh, we won't want to detect that and compare and show you that that's a problem. We want you to know that these are actually the same column, they're just in a different place. It's not something to worry about.